Is your life at a crossroads of oncoming traffic? Do you feel like you're on a never ending roller coaster and you just want to get off? Well, mastering life's chaos and taking step backs and turning them into stepping stones is where we're heading today. Welcome, you amazing adventurers of life, to episode three of Leveling Up Your Life. And today, we're going to be diving in to uncharted territory. We're going to be looking at how we react to our emotions when unexpected events happen to us in our lives. Let's face it, life can be a roller coaster at the best of times. And then unexpected events can happen that trigger our emotions. These emotions can conjure up feelings of past events and can hold us hostage. And they can also cloud our reality of what is currently happening. But within these storms lies invaluable lessons. And if learned and applied, can yield real true growth. So fasten your seatbelts and get ready to charter a course through the turbulent seas of your emotions so we can learn to navigate and come out stronger. In this episode, as well as sharing insights and strategies, we'll also be sharing with you another three top tips that you can implement into your life as you continue to level up your life. So let's dive in to a crucial aspect of personal growth, and that is how not to react when events happen and throw our life off course. Let's face it, at certain times in our life, usually when we least expect it, it has a tendency to throw us a curveball. And suddenly, you're in a whirlwind of emotions and you feel like your whole world has been turned upside down. It's like your emotional triggers have hit an alarm. And all your past feelings of despair and desperation and fear and anxiety are all coming back to the surface and they've all been released. These feelings and emotions can amplify the current situation, what has now happened and is unfolding in your life. It may make the current situation feel colossal and eclipse the actual situation that is happening. People's reactions are varied. Some freeze like a rabbit in headlights. Others choose to run away. And others choose to curl up in a ball, hoping that as little damage will be done to them as possible. These reactions only fuel the past, giving it more power and solidifying the hold it has on your past thoughts. But behold, there is a silver lining. You see, in these toughest of moments can be our greatest teachers. We can learn our most valuablest of lessons. The real biggest mistake is when we don't learn from them. When we don't gather the wisdom from these trials, we set ourselves up for a rerun just under a different guise, under a different costume, but it's the same frequency and vibration. It's the same events just happening in a different way. Imagine the shattered pieces when a relationship or a marriage ends, or the echoes of losing a stable income or a job that you thought you were securing. Or what about the, t the troubled times of when you were going through health difficulties? Or when we lose somebody and we have to go through the burdens of grief? All these types of events in our life can leave us weary. They can leave us withdrawn. Sometimes we build walls or we cocoon ourselves away, holding resentment of what could have been. We can be left with feelings of loneliness 
that leave us asking questions of how life is so unfair. And then what normally happens? We normally go through a period of reflection or solitude. We can still sometimes be withdrawn and put barriers up. And then usually a set of circumstances or a person may enter our life who we can relate to, who we feel comfortable and familiar with. And it's usually because like attracts like and normally we've brought somebody into our life that has gone through similar experiences who can resonate and understand us. So we feel some kind of connection. And at that point in our life, it's probably very much needed. But it's not really the true basis of where we should be building things from. But it does play a very important role. It can make us start to trust again, to feel happier again, to have a more open outlook. It's almost like a comfort blanket, somebody to walk a path with us. Sometimes we need somebody to hold our hand while we put our foot back into the water of life. Whether that's in relationships, whether it's a new career and work, whether it's financial income, whether it's just moving on after the loss of a loved one. And now, armed with the wisdom through going through these battles, we should be wise enough to realise we can't waste any time repeating the same set of circumstances and going through these difficult times again. When we've regained our strength, it's important that we don't repeat the same situations and squander and waste time. So let's talk about learning from past lessons. Have we really learned anything if we find ourselves again in the same whirlwind of emotions and repeating the same patterns? It's like studying for a test, passing and then being asked the same questions two weeks later and not knowing the answers. Real life learning isn't just about memorising the facts. It's about understanding and applying them into your life so events don't happen again. If we allow our emotions to overpower us repeatedly, it's like having a treasure map and following it but never reaching the gold. The key really does lie in using past experiences as a compass to guide us through life's storms. Surely, life is not about reliving cycles. It's about evolving. It's about becoming better. And the better we come, the more we have. And the more we have, the more we can become. So here's the challenge. When we gather the wisdom from the past lessons and we embrace the unknown and we use the lessons from the past, we really do start to level up our life. Remember, life is not about avoiding the storms. Life is about learning to dance in the rain. When it comes to mastering our reactions in the face of life's unpredictability, it's important to cultivate a toolkit that helps us navigate these turbulent waters. This can help empower us with resilience and with grace. Firstly, let's talk about mindful awareness. In the heat of unexpected situations and moments, mindfulness can be a game changer. By staying present in our thoughts and our emotions, we create a space that allows us time to think. Techniques like deep breathing, grounding exercises, or just taking a moment to observe the situation. Or simply just taking a moment to observe our feelings and our emotions can provide the clarity to respond thoughtfully and correctly rather than reacting impulsively. Number two is adaptive thinking and this is an invaluable skill to have. Often our reaction to situations 
is based on deep ingrained patterns. By cultivating adaptive thinking, we can challenge those automatic responses. Ask yourself, is there another perspective? What opportunities might this challenge represent? What challenges does this current situation present? When we can shift from a fixed to a growth mindset, this mindset allows us to embrace change and see opportunities as a way forward and a chance to grow. It's important we also cover self-compassion because when things go wrong in our life, sometimes we can act very harshly on ourselves. And cultivating self-compassion involves treating ourselves with more kindness. Realising that setbacks are just all part of the human experience. Offering ourselves the same compassion that we would a friend is so important in these situations. Remember, navigating life's unpredictable twists isn't about avoiding things altogether. It's about learning the skills and becoming adaptable to the situations that are presented in front of you. By integrating these practices into our lives, we give ourselves the opportunity to tackle things purposefully and thoughtfully. And from this, we can transform challenges into opportunities and the potential for further growth. Now let's look at sharing this week's Level Up Your Life tips. Let's delve deeper into these practices that can truly help to transform your life. Number one, the power of grounding. Grounding techniques keep us connected with the present day reality. And a simple exercise just by visualising ourselves being rooted to the floor and at one in the present moment and spot can have profound and helpful implications. So number one of this week's top level up your life tips is grounding. Visualise yourself in your mind's eye grounded to your current spot. Visualise a tree releasing its roots deep within the earth wrapping themselves around boulders deep within the earth's centre. This simple but effective grounding technique can help release stress, reduce anxiety and help you feel centred amidst all the chaos that's currently happening in your world. By doing this and taking time out to deep breathe and help you relax will do you the world of good. Number two this week. Stop multitasking and plan your life accordingly. Multitasking may seem efficient at first, but it often leads to scattered attention and unfinished results. Instead, focus your attention on doing one thing properly at a time. Plan your life into sections. Work, family, play, fun and so on. By doing this, we are giving each section and task our full attention and making it a priority. And you will see the results tenfold. You will very soon see better results, more productivity, and even happier kids and happier friends and happier people in general around you. And number three this week is the importance of pleasure time and personal enjoyment. Happiness and energy levels are very closely linked to how much we allow ourselves enjoyment and fun in our lives. Make time for enjoyment, hobbies and activities that you enjoy most, whether that's spending time with the family or it's doing your fishing or your poker or your football or something that you personally love. But it's more important than you realise to have that quality time of enjoyment for yourself. These moments of pleasure recharge your batteries and they bring an overall sense of well-being 
and make you happier as a person. Remember, it's not just about me coming on here and giving you a load of tips. It's about you integrating them into your lives. This is a pathway to you having a more fulfilling and a more balanced life. If you've been following the first three episodes of Level Up Your Life, you would have gained by now nine invaluable steps to easily incorporate into your life. And if you've not yet seen, go back, watch them, make a list and start today. Because these easy to follow steps will have a profound effect on rebuilding your life in the direction that you want it to go. And there's no excuses. The only thing holding you back is you. So make today the day that you change. Start to implement these easy to follow steps into your life and then let's level up your life. Join us next time for more insights, strategies and top tips to level up your life. Take care.